Mitesh, we'll come back to you. There's 14 minutes to go for close. Tomorrow when we come back, we'll have the auto sales numbers uh, for the month of July. Sonia is here with what we are expecting. Sonia. Well, thanks a lot for that. So, you know, for the month of July, we are expecting a bit of a slowdown in certain pockets, whether it's the passenger vehicle space or even the two-wheeler space in July. In fact, the wholesales uh, for the industry, for the passenger vehicle industry, will be in low single digits. We're expecting a growth of just 3% on a year-on-year -year basis for the passenger vehicle industry at about 353,000 units. The demand has been tepid within the passenger vehicle space, especially if you look at the small car segment. And discounts have inched up further, waiting period have lowered so it's not been a great setup in the month of July if you move to two-wheeler demand as well recovery has remained slow especially given a delayed festive season the two-wheeler wholesales will barely rise about 1% on a year-on-year -year basis. The only segment which has done well this time is medium and heavy commercial vehicles. Over there, there's a healthy growth that we've seen because of infrastructure spending and a healthy fleet operator availability, uh, profitability. Now, the MHCV industry volumes are expected to grow about 11% on a year-on-year -year basis. Let's take a look quickly at the company-wise expectations. For Ashok Leyland and Tata Motors, it will be completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Ashok Leyland will do a growth of 8%, while Tata Motors could see a fall of 6% year on year. In the two-wheeler space, if you look at it, the one that will perform the best could be Aisha Motors with Royal Enfield, a growth of 33%. Uh, while on the losing end, you have Bajaj Auto, which is still seeing some pressure because of exports. So down almost about 8-odd percent over there. Moving to passenger vehicles, Maruti Suzuki, a 7% year-on-year growth is what Nomura is estimating. While M&M, the total auto sales will be up almost about 12-odd percent. So a mixed bag, slowdown in passenger vehicles and two-wheelers, while you see a good growth in the MHCV sector. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Still awaiting Maruti, uh, Maruti's uh, numbers. We'll slip into a very short break. On the other side, we'll be joined by Mayuresh Joshi, so stay tuned.